hello there. So I hope you've had some wonderful Christmas salvations and I'd like to celebrate a little bit with you as well. Like last year, I'd like to say a little thank you and send out some postcards like last year. Let's look through these and if you'd like one just write me a comment and I'll pick some by chance. But before we get into it, let's get some tea. I'm a little ahead, I already have some New Year's tea. But I think that's okay. There you go. Put that aside. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're gonna change it up a bit and start with this one here. So you might have noticed already that a couple of days are from a series that all have this wide frame and then the name of the city down here, Bean. And I really like this one because it somehow looks so unlike Vienna. Of course, there's the cathedral with its one tower, the second one never having been finished. You can see a little top here. And then we have the Viennese mountains there in the background. But it somehow seems like an unusual view of the inner city skyline. I do really like it and I like the light here. So this early morning. It doesn't say where the photo was taken. Maybe it was along Schwedenplatz. There's a relatively high building where maybe you have this great view. But I'm not sure. It's rare to look from this side. But it's lovely. That's number one. Then the second one is a tree with some Christmas decorations. They are red hearts. And this is in front of the city hall. There's a big park and you can see this is the Christmas market. There's even enough snow for a little snowman. And I initially thought I don't want to get Christmas themed postcards, but this one is kind of funny. The tree with the hearts is called Herzalbaum, so tree of hearts basically. And at one point they didn't put it up. Now Kern Mayer kind of made a big thing about how he brought back the Herzalbaum. There's even a big picture this year of him where he holds one of the hearts and sort of presents it really happily. So it's become a bit of an image of uh, the Kern Mayer. I find it very funny. I also saw that this year there on the side on the advent um, market, they put up a little tower and then at one point they dimmed the lights 
and there's some like bells ringing and everyone stopped and looked out at what was happening and then on top of the tower a little door opened and a big heart came out and moved over towards the tree it was a bit ridiculous but so kitschy and i think everyone actually loved it so a little curiosity of the city over here another one i think with really beautiful colors i like this evening mood this is the michaela platz so we're looking out from the palace from the hofburg currently there should be a christmas market here as well as we're filming this there's this beautiful church michaela kirche with some medieval wall paintings when you go inside, right here on this side. If you continue in this direction, Kohlmarkt. On the left hand side is a cafe called Demer. They have really fantastic Kaiserschmarrn. In the last two years they've had it to go, so I often went there and picked up some. It's like fluffy pancakes that are torn into little pieces really really nice and then here on the side we have something quite special this is called the house without eyebrows because unlike the houses on the other side it didn't have any decoration on the facade a sort of very minimal decoration it was built by Adolf Loos, you can see it here, it's called the Loos House and it is said that the emperor who was sitting over here kept his windows closed and the curtains drawn at all times because he hated the look of it and didn't want to see it looks quite nice if you ask me right and then here this is something a little older but also in the first district i love these old cars they still have some of the old number plates which are black with white letters and then here we are at the griechenbeisel right here basically made in something like greek pop but the really famous part is this figure here which is the liebe augustine that's a story from the medieval times from the time when the black plague was in vienna and the liebe augustine got very drunk and sang his songs and at one point passed out in the streets and he was gathered up with everyone else and just thrown out of the city but miraculously he woke up again didn't catch anything came back into the city healthy as before and continued singing and i assume drinking <laughs> so He's been immortalized here on the facade of this house. There's a little passageway here around the corner. And then on the back today you have a tiny little cafe where you get coffee to go and they sell it out of a window, which I find really cute. And the coffee is very good. You can also see here some of these structures. That are quite typical for old city centers in Austria, sort of to stabilize the houses. It always feels like you're looking into a bit of an older time in Vienna. Now, with this one, we're not in the city center. 
a little further out. This is Linke Wienzeile 40. It's a building by Otto Wagner, who was a really influential architect on Vienna. And he built some Art Nouveau buildings. They're absolutely gorgeous. And what we see here is the central staircase with the elevator in the middle and you have this absolutely beautiful decoration here I really really like the patterns a little floral like leaves Colors are really beautiful, and I love how the lights are integrated into the wall decorations. A couple of years ago, I read an article about this building. How, I guess, in the 60s, 70s, it wasn't really sought out as an attractive place to live. And the people who still live there today have quite cheap rent because they have those old contracts. I'm sure when those places go back on the market, they'll be a little more expensive. And then we have two more. So these are not related to Vienna. But I thought they were just so beautiful. This one especially. There's a golden sun here, just above the horizon. We're looking through a winter forest with these black trees. And that white background and the pale blue snow. Such a lovely mood. And this one looks similar in style, it's from the same series but a bit more festive. So we have a couple of clouds here. And then we have two branches. With these beautiful blossoms and a couple of leaves. More in celebration of spring, but can't come early enough, right? Then there's two more sort of festive decorations here. with this lovely red that accompanies it. The envelope has beautiful pattern here when you look at the paper. Big fan of these two. All right. If you'd like one of these postcards, just leave me a comment and say so. And everything else will be in the description box or in the pinned comment. Thank you for watching and 
I'll see you again tomorrow.